just he just repeats world records now it's not enough for him to just do it once he's got to do it again you know <laughs> yes and it's also so impressive that he has this same depth in free immersion now and yeah. for a lot of athletes you see um, their depths kind of differing a lot between the different disciplines but mm -hmm. Alexi is just so powerful of an athlete that he's able to match depths in free immersion which is one of the longer lasting dives because you have much more friction that's caused in the water monofin is the speediest of the disciplines um, so yeah very very impressive that he can hold these numbers yeah. in two separate disciplines yeah, I think, I think the closest people with the deepest people were getting in free immersion, like even just three years ago, it was like 127, 126 meters, you know, so we've already seen a massive jump. Um, you know, to, to make, to add that many meters when you're at the top, you know, is so hard. And in the last few years, we've just seen it go up, 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 up. Yes, so actually the world record last year at Vertical Blue um, in free immersion was performed by Mateus Molina, and he did 127 meters. That's right, yeah. Bit of a shorter dive at least he's got this time. <laughs> yes. Look at his technique, it's flawless, isn't it? It's beautiful. Okay, let's go, Alexi. So the arms down now. There's the charge for the mouthfeel. Just give him, tense that belly. Yeah, so he's, he's so much about relaxation in his diving. His technique is extremely studied. I mean, he's the diner, designer himself of the monofin that he's using. And today mm -hmm. he's actually using the soft um, Mulchanoff's monofin. Um, it's the carbon fiber fin. So he he knows his technique matched with this particular fin, like the back of his hand. Sixty meters. Look at the trunks on him as well. He's got massive legs, Alexei. And like when you yes. when you meet him, he's got a very long body as well, but his legs are just enormous. These two powerhouse diesel engines that he's got on the bottom of his. Uh, on his monofin, right? Yeah, so we were actually talking about proportion and lung volume a little bit earlier, and Alexi mm. does have a much longer torso in comparison to his leg length. Mm -hmm. So he probably does have massive volume. It would be interesting, I wonder, he's done many studies um, of his lungs and blood and everything, but I, I, wouldn't, I, I should ask him what his volume is. That'd yeah, long volume would be to interesting know. to know. And I bet he can increase it so much when he's packing, right? So yes. he'd probably add at least a litre, maybe more, to his long volume when he packs. Yes. Um, 120 meters. Phew, unbelievable, isn't it? Okay, going super smooth, beautiful, super consistent free fall. Two minutes done. Okay, nice, and just, just reaching the candy cane oh, right to the plate. He wanted to go do a bit more. Yeah, it looks like it. <laughs> there we go, going straight up in the arrow, and wow, the amount of flexibility that that takes at that depth mm -hmm. is very, very impressive. Yeah, it didn't. Yeah, taking nice, smooth, soft kicks on the way up, utilizing more of the front front face of the fin to get in those kicks. Yeah, it gives it a bit more power on the front stroke, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice tempo though. He's not going so quick. Boom. Three minutes. Yeah, so Alexi has quite the regimented training style. He usually does like a daily run for about 15, 20 minutes. Mm, he's, he's kind of, sorry to interrupt you, he's just sort of come away from the line there a bit. Got off angle and then the side of the mono hit hit the uh, hit the rope a little bit there yeah so maybe having a little bit of narcosis it is mm. pretty dark today as well like we said the tide mm. is at the high point so there's lots of little micronutrients and stuff in the water kind of causing it to yeah, it makes it darker darker 40 meters first safety okay there's the first safety meeting quite deep i believe that's yeah, you can tell 
another thing that you know is obviously I box it now. His technique is is getting. You know, I don't want to say sloppy, right? Because I'm not really in a position mm -hmm. to say that. But he's seeing a bit more of a knee bend, right? He's using different parts of the leg. He's obviously getting a bit tired. There's going to be some lactic acid build up. So um, that's why the technique's changing ever so slightly. Yes. Yes, and we did see him slow down again like yesterday around the 50, 40 meter mark. And now he's really using any of that positive buoyancy to kind of glide him to the surface. Yeah, okay, there, there he, is. he is. He's facing away from us. Recovery breaths. Camera. Over the shoulder glance. Very casual. Okay. Coaching done by Pepe Salcedo. It's looking good. There's the tag. Yes. All the smiles. Tag. Wow. And yeah. He White card. Wow, Unbelievable. Wow, wow. Oh, congratulations, Alexi Molchanov. <laughs> Another, world, Another record. world record. Back to back. Absolutely insane. So what does that put us at? We're day three of the competition and three world records. Three world records. records. Two oh. from this man right here. The man in gold. <laughs> Unbelievable. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah, yeah. yeah, unbelievable. Unbelievable dive. And so clean. Very. You know, so clean. He's, he's just a glance over his shoulder almost because he was facing the wrong direction. Judge is like, yes. Well, Pepe, Pepe. He's like, over here, this way, face this way. And he just glanced over.